Are you a middle of the plate kind of vacationer? Or do you like to live on the edge? You see all those boring people like to go to things like Jacksonville Beach and all these places right in the middle of the plate. But here at Plate Boundary LLC, we want to take you to explore the edges of the plates, the very boundaries where one continental plate meets another. A fault. Yes, excuse me, that was Mr. B. Adrapper, our esteemed colleague. And yes, a fault is what we're talking about, where plates meet each other. And we can take you to any kind of fault. We have the theory of plate tectonics driving our company. And in that theory, we believe in our deepest of souls that the earth is divided into plates, that these plates move relative to one another, and that convection currents in the mantle cause this movement. That convecting asthenosphere is what we're talking about. We can take you to fault where plates spread apart. Divergent boundaries, yo! Yes, these might include landforms such as mid-ocean ridges when they form underwater, or rift valleys when they form on land. So if you're in just scuba diving miles underwater with the nice warm 900 degree hydrothermal vents refreshing your body, then perhaps a, a mid-ocean ridge would be a nice option. It's hot! But if you prefer the song Africa, by Toto in the 1980s, then perhaps Mount Kilimanjaro itself might be more up your alley. A nice mountain aside, a rift valley, really breathtaking scenery, and of course the occasional eruption. Well, Mr. B. Adrapper has neglected to tell you about convergent boundaries, which is where plates come together, they converge. Yes, plates come together, they converge. So if they're the same density, we get different landforms than if they're different densities. For instance, continental crust is less dense than oceanic crust. So oceanic crust plates would be more dense than continental crust plates. Yeah, if they're both continental, you get mountains. Piling high up in the sky. If you're more of a convergent boundary kind of person, perhaps we could interest you in a day skiing in the Rockies, where two continental plates collide. Continents and oceanic. Well, that makes something else. That makes a trench and some mountains on the side. A day skiing in the snow in the morning in the Andes and skiing in the water in the afternoon in the South Pacific. But, too oceanic. That makes a trench and some volcanoes. You see here we have a continental plate and an oceanic plate colliding. And let me tell you, exploring volcanoes in the day and- It's hot! Diving in a submarine to explore deep ocean trench creatures and find new life at night is, is quite, quite the vacation. Sounds fun! Yes, but I think we are forgetting about our vacation options in the wine country of California along the transform boundaries. Or you can sip the finest grape juice in the hills of the San Andreas Fault, a transform boundary in California. Yeah! You can sip grape juice along a fault where two plates slide past each other, transform, 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 transform. So to sum up this oddly educational real estate advertisement, we have the theory of plate tectonics driving our company. And in that theory, we believe in our deepest of souls that the earth is divided into plates, that these plates move relative to one another, and that convection currents in the mantle cause this movement, 
that convecting asthenosphere is what we're talking about. And without that, you could not have scuba diving in the mid-ocean ridge. You could not have skiing in the Rockies. You could not have skiing in Chile and then water skiing in the ocean off of Chile. We couldn't have all these wonderful places we've talked about without the theory of plate tectonics, which is why our company tips our hat to plate tectonics. Thank you for listening. I bid you adieu.